morning from 11,500 feet. It is cold. Oh, yeah, though there's frost on the grass. But uh, it is beautiful. There are no clouds today. The sun is coming up and I think we're in for a treat. Oh, it's gonna be another beautiful day on planet Earth. I know that for sure. I think I know what I'm having for breakfast. Honey bunches of oats with some powdered milk. Buenos dias, Matthew. Buenos dias. How you doing, bud? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. We have a nice view out of our front window now. Look at that. Just gonna make some milk here. I know it looks funny, but I think it'll taste all right. Oh, the perfect breakfast. Sitting by the fire, eating my honey bunches of milk. And for lunch, I have made almond butter Nutella. I cannot wait to eat this. There's my world. Today is gonna be beautiful. <laughs> How and was- We got some sunshine. That's right. How was yesterday for you? Uh, How was this route? Well, uh, <clears throat> off camera, I have talked about how this is really boot camp for Matthew. Uh, see, I feel like I'm a shell of my former self. I used to do this a lot. Uh, recently, the only epic thing I've been doing is sitting at a desk and working at a computer. Uh, so uh, this is boot camp, and day one was really hard, but 11 hours of sleep, really great food, 30-ish uh, miles today. I'm looking forward to it. And we've already had our morning run, uh, and so got that out of the way early. Uh, so don't have to think about that after. All I have to do, get into the to the next cabin, and uh, call it know, good. Call it good. Matthew's packing up his his corn chips in here. We've cleaned it up. We've swept. We've done our dishes. Matthew, I think it's time to go ride some bicycles. Let's go ride some bikes. Let's go ride some bikes. <laughs> about 29 miles. We're gonna gain, I think, 3,700 feet of vert, but we're gonna go down about 4,500. So, that's a good deal, right? I think I just got the drone stuck in a tree. <laughs> Shit. Do you see it? I don't see it. It's up there somewhere. I can I see know. on the screen that it's in a tree. It <laughs> Crap! Where is it? It's right here. You think we can get to it? Where is it? It's right here. Uh, let's say 15 feet up. Let's see if I can right just pull it out of there. We're gonna climb up the tree. We can see the drone blinking up there. I don't think it's too damaged, so if we get it, it should work. <laughs> uh, Sorry about this, Matthew. Our day's getting started a little bit later. These trees aren't the best trees for climbing. Oh, five feet. Five feet more? Yeah. Come on, baby. Uh. I'm here for you. Reunited! Woo! I got it, look! You got it? Yep. Whoa. <coughs> <Woo>. <laughs> hi, hi there. Drone seems to be okay. It just kind of landed in the tree really softly. Oh, a little adventure before the adventure. That's it. <laughs> God. Drones are dangerous, man. They just get you into trouble. <laughs> but the shots are so cool. The drone obviously didn't get the message that there's no crashies today. Oh, but look how beautiful it is. I mean, look what we're dealing with here. That's pretty awesome. I did put a nice big hole in my, my new jacket climbing up that tree, but it's worth it. That's all 
ice, shards of ice in there. Oh, these mangoes are so good. We discovered these last night and they are the best. They look like slimy little worms, but they are so good. Mm. We've been riding a half an hour and it's already snack time. <laughs> Whoa! <What? laughs> Sorry about that. Is this the recording? Sorry. Yeah. It was only in my arm. I <laughs> didn't want to do it because I didn't want to get wet. And then I, I just then I just splashed the hell out of it. I bet it looks cool. <laughs> it hopefully it looked cool. Yeah. Can we put that in slow motion so oh, we can yeah. see it? Oh yeah. Yep, this is our turn off. gunk that wants to get into the gears but it can't get into the gears because it's all enclosed power 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 oh that's slippery These uphills are really steep and difficult. It's kind of hard to document them. Uh, but uh, yeah, believe me, we're going up. Up, up, up. guys that's so cool we just want to touch you and feel your your soft wool I'm wearing a wool shirt we're homies look at all these sheeps hey sheeps the trail here is barely visible and this field this golden field is so beautiful I'm really liking this it may be very difficult but it's getting us to some beautiful places way out of the way we are not seeing any humans out here at all I'm really liking this section it's not nearly as technical as yesterday and this morning. The technical stuff is fun, but you really 
have to pay attention and it's very stressful. <laughs> this is just nice and flowy and beautiful and you can kind of ah, breathe easy and enjoy the surroundings. We have left the alternate route, the single track, and now we're on the standard route, which is right now just a dirt road, which sometimes is kind of boring to be on a dirt road, but we're liking this because it's fast. <laughs> see here this doesn't belong here Ugh. trash why are people throwing trash in the wilderness we got a spot you can cram it in and I'll show you guys how to to crush a can without any uh, without any sharp corners right about there 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 oh twist it there's no sharp corners look at that and then you can put it in your bag because trash doesn't belong out here. Rum, 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 rum. I can't even ram, I'm too tired. Ah. Up, 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 up. Let's go that way a little bit further. This is the last hill for sure. Guaranteed last hill. <laughs> it's never the last hill. People at the San Juan huts. Why do you have to put these huts at the top of a hill at the end of every day? Gosh! <laughs> Five, my friend. Is. That was a great day. Yeah, fuck yeah. So I think it's about 4 p.m. We left at 10, so we did 30 miles in six hours. We're getting better at this. Yeah, not bad. The first part of the day was pretty hard. It was pretty technical. The downhill was fun. The uphill was definitely difficult. And then we got on the standard route, dirt road, Aspens, uphill, beauty. Yep. Eight miles uphill per hour, 30 miles downhill per hour. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right, let's see what we got here. La la la. You know what I'm going for. There they are. Yes. Oh, tastes so good. And I justify eating these because they're the healthy M&Ms. They have peanuts in them, you know? My legs are looking pretty dirty today. And I have another mystery cut. Must be slamming into some branches as I ride. that I have not shown you the bathroom here at the hut and the bathrooms are pretty cool. All right, this is it. There's the toilet. There's all sorts of toilet paper there. Obviously you can't put tampons and other things in the toilet so you throw them there. And this is the part which is cool, the composting part. Every time you do a little duty, you take a scoop full of that and you put it in there and everything gets composted. And also, look at the nice view. You can sit in the toilet, look out that way. Or you can look out that way. What you looking at there, bud? I need some vegetables. I found some carrots, some red cabbage, and of course, vegetable uh, pepper jack cheese. That's a good vegetable, that's my favorite one. I'm actually really loving that there is no reception out here. I will admit that I'm kind of addicted to my phone. I'm always on my phone, social media or texting or just looking up cool bikes on the internet. Who knows what I'm doing out there, but I'm always on my phone. And so this, this whole seven days, no phones at all, just carrots.
I think we need to we need to infuse more carrots into our lives and less phones. <laughs> I thought I was gonna go to the hut and start making dinner, but there's just too much excitement going on out here. And by excitement, I mean this sunset. Look at this. Yeah. The huts are great and all, but this is the true treat of being out here in the Colorado backcountry. It's easy to get caught up in the Western world about just accumulating things. Like the more money you have, the more things you can buy, the more happiness, right? And I'm not so sure that's true. I certainly have some things that bring me happiness, like my bicycle <laughs> brings me a lot of happiness. But these are my things right here. These mountains, these trips, this freedom, these trees. Woo! These are my things, and I love it. And I'm so very grateful. So very grateful to be here right now, doing this with my friend Matthew and uh, enjoying a new part of my state. Boom! Oh yeah, beans. Yes, deluxe. Look at that pile of awesomeness. This here is a deluxe burrito. Mmm.